Hey what's up and welcome back to the Zeppelin video series. In today's video we will be focusing on the style guide on design systems and components inside Zeppelin. And we have a style guide tab for a certain project. So you see that we have a bunch of projects here and we can simply go on a project and then check out the style guide tab. And you see that we have a couple of options here. We have colors and text styles as the first option. And then we have components. And these are the two areas that we will talk about in today's video. So I already told you one or two things about colors and text styles. And what they basically mean is that we have a color palette which is which are colors that we have uh, on our screens so for example if i check out one of those screens right here and i select a certain element for example uh, this text layer i can add this certain color to the style guide we can go back check out our style guide and we see that it generated a like color item which uh, is bluish gray. It auto it also automatically gives the the color a certain name, and we can see that it is also added to our Swift code, and we can change it, we can rearrange it, and we can like generate a color palette uh, style guide from our screens. And then we have text style catalog, which is a summary of all the text styles that we created in Sketch. So if we go in Sketch and we select a certain element, uh, like the headline right here, we see that there is a text style uh, headline. And then we have two other text styles and they are also automatically transferred into uh, into Zeppelin and we see a few details like the font, the weight, the font size and the color of it um, and we can simply manage it from here. But it gives you an overview of the text styles and of the colors that you are using in your document, in your sketch document basically. And of course uh, the text styles are also added to our Swift uh, extension right here. And that's about texts and colors, but more importantly we have components. And components are the elements that uh, the majority of your design system consists of. So we haven't imported any components yet and it's basically super simple. Um, if we select a certain layer, which is a component, like for example, uh, we I think we have to create one, maybe, or we, we select a certain element. Uh, we have a light status bar right here. We have a light status bar in here and also on our third screen. So that's basically a design system component for our screens. Um, but it's a system component, maybe we, we generate one for ourselves. So we have a skip button, which is a component, um, and we have a calculate button, and maybe let's duplicate the calculate button, bring it to our first screen, and let's just fake it a little bit, change and override the text in here, and maybe just say skip, um, oops, we have to bring it back in here. So we have it on two screens now already. And uh, it's basically the same component, the same symbol, because if we go in here, it's the calculate button. So just to give you an impression of how it works, what you now have to do to import your symbol or your design system component into Zeppelin is to select your symbol in sketch and then go and click plugins Zeppelin export selected and basically import your symbol into Zeppelin. Now you see that it imported our symbol and it is now a component. If I go back into our project, into our dashboard, we see that it's not a, a screen or an artboard, but it's basically just a component sitting in here. And we are able to select multiple things like uh, the text layer that we have in here. We can see the, the texts and so on. So it's working basically like a normal artboard, but more importantly now, if we select the like outdoor part of it, it gives us an overview of the screens that it is used in. Um, we see that it is used in our calculator, but actually we imported it 
from uh, we we are placed in in two screens um but of course we need to also update our screens and load them import them into uh zeppelin as well now we done it go back into our components select it and now you see that it is used in two screens so i needed to override um i needed to override our project uh, screens because I had an old version of our splash screen but if I now double click it I see it's used in our um, splash screen as well as in our calculator screen because it's the symbol that we used in sketch that we placed on both screens now we get some more information about it we can uh, of course also create a link about it we can add a description for it but what is also cool that if we have multiple components, and I will show that to you in a second, by uploading those two symbols, I know that I think that they are just available in one screen, but that doesn't matter. Maybe in a future, like when the project uh, goes on and on, those two buttons will be added to more screens. Um, then we will see that they are used in more than just this single screen. But for our example here, it's working fine because you can drag like a selection on all of your components and once they are selected, you can right click it and say you want to delete them or you can create a new selection here. And the selection right here could be, um, the this is like the add buttons collection. And then it's working like collections or like selections in uh, normal screens like in your dashboard you can of course also rearrange them um, so if i create another um, another section which is basically our let's call this main call to action we can now uh, rearrange our elements and create some kind of system in here so the design system inside Zeppelin, it is quite easy to create because it, it's mostly automatically generated and it's manually created, um, like the, at least the component part, but that gives you the ability to create a design system super easily. And of course, all the people who are also part of the project who are invited to it are now able to check out our design system which consists of the colors and textiles and of the components to give you another idea on how you can work on your design system and components a little further is you can also create groups inside a section so we have a section but we can click and drag one of the items and drag it on top of another one and this creates a group which is maybe like a subsection you know and then you can name it and you can just say small add buttons because maybe we are going to add a couple of big ones as well so you get a really like great hierarchy that you can use inside your components part um, you can of course also search them and you can uh, select a certain arrangement like a certain order in here and uh, of course those sections work like normal sections you can collapse them and hide them and you can uh, just like choose these options right here as we are used to that from the normal sections so i think um i think that zeppelin it has some great potential to to offer if you want to create a design system directly from your sketch or figma file so it's working super easy it's it's fast and uh it's super convenient because you have simply have your symbols in sketch and you just import them and then you have your components and you see in which screens they are uh, where they are used so maybe you are actually um, thinking about where a certain symbol where a certain component is used and you see it in your um, you see it in the like bottom right in here for example and um, maybe you're thinking so why is the main call to action 
also available on our calculator because maybe we didn't want to have it in here then you can simply directly go into this screen and check out why it is there so it gives you a lot of possibilities there so my friends i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in and we see us in the next one bye